This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, honey! All right, everybody. Welcome to the start of a brand new stream series. Uh, it's going to be a very creepy one, just in time for Halloween. It's uh, Higarashi When They Cry, which, from my understanding, is Japanese for When the Cicadas Cry. Hence the weird picture of a cicada I posted on my channel uh, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, this is a visual novel. Apparently another visual novel that's been turned into an anime. And I'm excited to play this one. Multiple people have recommended it to me very highly. And I've, I've even had people be like, oh, if you want to play it, then install this like 07th mod, which adds voice talent and makes the graphics better. And I'm like, okay, voice talent, I'm game for that because I can't do female voices. So that should be good. <laughs> so here we are. So I've, I have installed a mod. And I think all that it's supposed to do is to like, because apparently this game... It's kind of old, but it's had multiple different re-releases. So there's, like, the original version, which had kind of hand-drawn graphics. There was, like, a PlayStation version and then the Steam version. And for, there are three different sets of graphics. And I think this mod basically allows you to swap between them at will. I'm playing with the Steam graphics. Those seemed like the uh, most recent and most uh, up-to-date and best-looking out of all of them. I don't know. And I'm more excited for the voice talent because uh, it's a horror game. So that might make things creepier. I'm not sure if there's if it's just like a bunch of fans did voice acting or whatnot. I don't really know. I don't really know what the mod all entails, but all I know is that this this visual novel seemed interesting. It's divided up into multiple chapters, and the first chapter was free. So I at the very least I will be getting my money's worth. <laughs> Twitch chat is showing up on screen. It's on the left side. It just only shows up for 15 seconds before it disappears. Because otherwise it's pretty distracting when it comes to visual novels. By the way, welcome Mobius to the stream. Yeah, this is uh, it's a story-based game. And it's supposed to be very, very creepy. It's a horror game. Like a full-on horror game. None of this Baldi's Basics nonsense. No, like, this is going to be actually creepy from what I understand. So, if we go to config, we can change a bunch of settings. I don't really care about the text box opacity. Voice volume's fine, music volume, sound effects, yep, yep, that's all fine. Having that off, hiding that off. Right-click menu to show, yeah, sh that's fine. Uh, display confirmation, character sprites, yeah, so I can do the remake sprites or the console sprites. So console would be PlayStation, remake would be the Steam version. I have it currently set to the remake language, um, English, because I can't understand kanji. There we go. All right. So, let's get started. Demoned Away Chapter. Welcome to the world of Higarashi when they cry. That why is the cry why is the first letter in cry red? The only Kakushi arc will be the opening inviting you into this world. Sit back, relax and enjoy life in Hinamizawa to the fullest. The difficulty for this chapter is extremely high, but I hope you will enjoy the reward. What does that mean? It's a visual novel. <laughs> is this going to be one of those those visual novels where you've got a bunch of different choices, and if you want the good ending, you got to make the right choices? I don't know. Let's see. Well, that that's already creepy. <laughs> it's so hard to read. Please do not deplore yourself. Even if the world does not forgive you, I will forgive you. Please do not deplore yourself. Even if you do not forgive the world, I will forgive you. So please tell me, what will it take for you to forgive me? Frederica Bernkestel? Wait, I didn't get to read that! This is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to actual persons or organizations is entirely coincidental. AD 1983, the early summer of the 58th year of the Showa... What? Ooh, we're already off to a good start. Exciting. If I was going to be ripped apart anyways, having my body ripped apart would have been far better. I trusted her. No, 
I still trust her. What are you doing right now? Even in this very moment, I trust her. Why do I get the feeling that that's not true? But I'm starting to realize. I only wanted to trust her because I refused to accept the truth. Dude, you really gotta stop closing your refrigerator door that hard. Come on now. You, you can just close it gently. If you keep kicking it shut, eventually it's not going to work properly. It was as if I was trying to convince myself in such a silly, sobbing voice. And those tears. Those tears making a mess of my face. Oh, is he supposed to be sad right now? Oh, is he, is he stress-eating stuff in the fridge? That mechanical, repetitious sound finally stilled and everything fell silent. Ooh, what a beautiful Halloween night. Oh, look at that orange sky with black clouds. <laughs> what could go wrong? Only the cry of the cicadas remained, annoyingly loud. Yeah, thus far, no music. We've only heard cicadas. And I've actually listened to some of the songs in this game. It's a really good soundtrack. <laughs> and yet, I felt as if I could still hear her voice. But that's not possible. She's no longer speaking. The only one crying is me. She never cried. Even when she repeated those words over and over, she never expressed any emotion because there were none to show. What? If she had no tears to shed for me, then I shouldn't need to shed any for her. Then why? This pain. My eyes getting moist. Why was this happening? I still wanted to believe I hadn't been split apart. That's enough, right? Inside me, an inner voice whispered gently. My spirit had suffered enough, and countless times I'd wavered over whether I should just throw the battered thing away. Except, I've stubbornly refused to do that, haven't I? It, I'd feel better if I just threw it away. Even knowing that, I chose to believe, didn't I? I posted a picture of a cicada, because the name of the game is When the Cicadas Cry. Only I can understand that painful struggle, and appreciate it. Hey, me? I've tried more than enough. I'll acknowledge that much. So? Isn't it alright to just take the easy way out? Besides, I'm not throwing it away. I'm leaving it behind with her. I wish I could kind of see what was happening. Like flowers by a grave. Now then, calm your nerves. Even though you can't feel your right arm, just lift up. And with every swing, forget a little more. Stop shutting the refrigerator door! Come on, dude! You've closed it enough. You can find something better to do with your time. That kindness made me happy. That adorable smile brought me joy. I liked petting your head. Okay, this is getting weird. I loved how demure you were. I don't think we're closing the fridge door anymore, because this will be the last time. Because when I swing this down, I'll forget. This is my first and last bouquet for you. Perhaps I really did love you. What? Bruh. Refrigerator san does not feel the same way. Higarashi when they cry. Welcome to Hinamizawa. Well, at least their game is welcoming me in. Achievement unlocked. Farewell. Well, this is gonna be easy. Somebody has been apologizing for a while now. Hell, here we get the main menu. Nice. I wonder what she's apologizing for. It felt wrong to eavesdrop, so I tried to ignore it. It had been a while since I last went to the city. I only returned to attend the funeral of a relative. Oof. Even though I'd lived there until last month, I found the bustle of the city to be overwhelming. Those skyscrapers and multi-lane roads. The melodious cacophony of the crosswalk. I am playing this on Steam. First chapter was free on Steam, so I downloaded it and then just installed a mod to it. Even the campaign speeches blaring in front of the station felt nostalgic. Vote for Ted Forth. <laughs> the place where I live now isn't nearly as lively. 
There's only the chirping of the locusts and the babbling of brooks. And the cry of the higarashi. The evening cicadas. Oh, I'm sorry. Evening cicada. I may not have specified that in my hint. That's my bad. Rather than making me feel lonely, that quietness had begun to instill a sense of serenity. There is nothing where I'm living now. I don't just mean there aren't any burger joints. There aren't even vending machines. What world do you live in where there's not even vending machines? My place? No music stores, no restaurants. No restaurants?! Are you living in, like, that one town that has free people in it? And no arcades. Well, dude... Oh, wait, no, it's 1983, I think. So, I guess there wouldn't there wouldn't be home video game consoles. But wasn't the NES out by then? I thought, there, I thought it was. An ice cream parlor? No chance. Bro, where do you live? <laughs> the nearest town had some stuff like that, but it's an hour away by bike. But come to think of it, it wasn't really a big deal. There were music stores and arcades and ice cream parlors where I used to live, but it wasn't like I ever hung out at any of them. Oh, dude, this guy's me. I'd lived in the city for ten years and never once been to an ice cream parlor. Oh, well, never mind. No, he's not. Imagine living in the city, lol. I should have gone at least once. It's only now that I'm starting to regret that a little. Somebody is still apologizing. Who is she apologizing to? Oh, sorry, senpai. I uh, didn't mean to look at you weird. She's apologized so much, so just forgive her already. There's no reason anyone should ever need to apologize so much. I started to feel a bit annoyed at whoever was refusing to forgive her. No matter how bad the mistake, there's nothing that can't be forgiven. It's easy to say that until you end up in a situation where someone kills your family. It's a lot harder th then. There's no such thing as an irreparable mistake. I actually do agree with that, but... It, it can be hard to put into practice. You just need to be careful, more careful next time. She's still apologizing, even now. Then, has she really done something that can't be fixed? Why is it just a black screen? I want to see the train that we're on, judging by the sound effects. I have no idea what she's done, but if it can't be fixed, then that's all the more reason to forgive her. No matter how much she apologizes, nothing will change. But even so, she keeps apologizing in such a heartbreaking voice. Hey you, the one she's apologizing to. Why don't you just go ahead and forgive her? She's apologizing in such a pathetic voice. Keiichi, soro soro tsukuzo. Ah, there we go! We got the voice talent. Keiichi's dad. Are we Keiichi? Okinasai. I was finally roused from my nap by my father's prodding. Okay, so we are Keiichi. Cool. There we go! We got some graphics at last! Oh, it looks so pretty! Cool, I like this. It seemed the train had reached its final stop. We'd spent hours riding everything from the bullet train to the local routes. It was hard to believe that the landscape beyond the window in the city I was in half a day ago were in the same country. No, that they were even in the same era. Wow! Yeah, this looks very nice. Beautiful. From there, we take a car deeper into the mountains. We're just going to all the places. Ooh! This is cool! Wow! Normally, you only get one background for, like, multiple locations, but here, we're getting multiple backgrounds for one location. That's how you know this is an A-tier visual novel. Past where the dense forest encroaching on the mountain road suddenly opened up. Ooh. That's pretty. There where I live now. Hinamizawa. Can we get some music? Other than just cicadas? Higarashi when they cry. How many times are we going to get the title? I know, I know what game I'm playing. <laughs> Ooh, we're inside now. Even though we were approaching summer, the morning air still had a frigid bite. Aw, is the morning biting again? It needs to brush its teeth. Although, in exchange, you could fill your lungs up with crisp, clean air. Flipping open the window, I was greeted with a verdant expanse. Nothing but trees. 
The neighboring house was far away on the other side, so I was probably the only one enjoying that view and that air. I filled my lungs with another deep breath. Since I started living in Hinamizawa, I learned that even air had its own taste. Hey! There we go! We finally get some music. I quickly finished getting ready for school and headed downstairs for breakfast. My mother was the only one there. My father was nowhere to be seen. I don't think your mother's anywhere to be seen, either. Is this one of those vigil novels where the parents just don't really exist? <laughs> he was probably up working until the early morning. Dad had a rather unconventional job as a painter. Hey, that's cool. It's such a laid-back profession. Get up when you want, sleep when you want, and work when you want. Um, if you got a job to paint someone's house, you can't work whenever you want. I was so jealous of that easygoing lifestyle. I even wrote for school that I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. Dad was ecstatic about that. It was just because it looked easy. I'd never tell him that, though. <laughs> That's the job you want? Hey, we need painters out there. Of course, by painter, do you... Oh, wait, I guess I never thought about it. Is his dad a painter in the sense like Bob Ross making paintings and selling them? Because I assumed he was a painter in, like, he was, like, a carpenter where you're like, hey, I want to repaint my, like, basement. And he's like, okay, gets the roller out and paints it. That's what I interpreted, but maybe he's actually an artist. I need more details. Mom laid breakfast out on the table. Seaweed, pickled vegetables, raw egg, and grilled salmon. Ah, the classic American breakfast. My mom was such a good cook, it was scary. Um, Grisea, there was reference to parents, but they never actually appeared on screen. Other than Yumiko's dad. And he was, uh, a parent, I suppose. Uh, Clonaud actually did have parents. Uh, main character had his dad, who appeared briefly a couple of times. And then, uh, main girl, Nagisa, her parents actually were huge characters in that game. Mom was such a good cook, it was scary. Well, that is not what I would eat for breakfast, but I guess it's different over in Japan. A perfect, immaculate, ideal breakfast. Unlike my dad, who didn't even know the meaning of the word schedule, my mom never squandered any time or effort. You're behind schedule! <laughs> she hummed a little tune as she brought me over the miso soup. It seemed like she was in a good mood today. Man, can you believe that the game does not normally have voice acting? This is all part of the mod. Oh. Wait, Keiichi actually has his own voice talent when he's not thinking to himself. Oh, interesting. I thought I was being cute responding with a wisecrack after being praised for being good. Yamamori. <laughs> Pile it on, my man! First I savored the steaming hot rice with the seaweed. After that, I covered it with the egg. Between bites of rice, I enjoyed the crunch of the pickles. I want to see this! <laughs> Maybe that's why you watch the anime, but something tells me the anime skips over this scene. <laughs> Not bad at all. Excellent, as usual. Watching me clean my plate, my mom gave me a warm smile. I feel called out, because, I think I've mentioned it before, I have not, like, eaten breakfast on a regular basis since I was probably 14 years old. Which was... Oh my lord, that was close to half my lifetime ago. I've spent almost half of my life not eating breakfast on a regular basis. I don't miss it. I was not a morning person when we lived in the city. I slept right until the last minute before school and rarely ate breakfast. Boycotting the breakfast mom made me each morning, that was probably the only way I could protest being forced to attend cram school. I guess that's what you would call my rebellious phase. I wanted so much as a look at the breakfast she woke up early to m every day to make. That's sad! Yeesh. Sorry to hear that, Mobius. I guess... Here's the thing. If there's something, like, for breakfast that's worth eating for breakfast, then I'll eat it. Like, if I, if I go out of my way to make muffins, like, yeah, I'm definitely going to eat a muffin in the morning for sure. If, like, I, if I'm at my family's house and they're like, hey, we're doing, like, family breakfast with, like, waffles, I'm like, heck yeah, this is great. But on my own, I don't really go for breakfast. Like, me, I'll eat a piece of fruit in the morning, but that's not breakfast. That's just, like, a snack. Mainly because a lot of the quintessential breakfast foods I'm not a huge fan of. It's like, 
I can't really eat cereal because I can't eat milk. Like, I physically can, but I won't be able to get it past my gag reflex. And since cereal is created to be eaten with milk, it doesn't really go down well. Not the biggest sausage guy. Not really an egg guy either, so, like, what's left? Grits. Yeah, free guess is what I don't like. <laughs> if I could go back in time, I'd slap myself. Oh, he's maturing already. This is great. Thus far, Keiji seems like a marginally more likable protagonist than uh, Tomoya and Yuji. Mindful of the time, Mom rushed me along with a wide grin. Who is that? Wait, oh. Wait a second. So, if we switch over to console graphics, does that change the background? No, it doesn't. Okay, maybe it'll just change the sprites. With Rinanshan? Huh. Mom really seemed to enjoy the fact that her son was going to school with a girl. Well, yes! Duh! <laughs> Rina is one of my classmates. She really loves cooking... <laughs> she really loves looking after people, coming to meet me every day without fail. Okay, she's already a sweetie. I like her. The way I looked at it, a guy my age walking to school with a girl was just lame. Ugh. But, well, keeping a classmate waiting for me every day wouldn't really be considerate. Seriously, though, how long does Rina wait there for me every morning? Taking one last gulp of miso soup, I raced for the door. Don't leave Sayori waiting. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Rena, not Rina. Come to think of it, those pickles weren't store-bought, were they? If I had known that, I would have savored them a bit more. I love the backgrounds. Oh, boy. Here she is. Oh, hey! You are the uh, girl who appears on the Steam page cover. I guess I should have figured. She's main girl. Her cheerful greeting was as fresh as the morning itself, so now I want to try something. If we go to menu, if we go to settings, and then switch over to console... Whoa! Yeah! She does switch sprites! Oh, they're, they're actually both very good. So this is the PlayStation sprite. And then this is the Steam Sprite. They actually both look pretty good. I like them both. I'm going to keep with the Steam graphics, I think, though. Her cheerful greeting was as fresh as the morning itself. Is this the same girl that voices Nagisa? <laughs> she sounds just like Nagisa. She's so conscientious, and such a good person. Rude! Don't be a butt to the sweet girl. Bruh, come on! Why does every male visual novel protagonist have to be a crud butt? Bruh! I know he's just teasing her, but... Also, why does every single girl in a visual novel have a ridiculously short skirt? Rena had a slightly troubled look on her face. Toying with her was rather fun because of how quickly her mood changed. With those words, Rena seemed to relax. Her face flushed bright red. Is there a way to make this uh, disappear? Hide text box? Oh, uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Hi, Dust. Um, I'm playing an extremely different game than Backyard Base. I'm playing a visual novel, Higurashi When They Cry. It's a horror game visual novel turned anime, although not a lot of horror-related stuff has happened yet. So if you want to join in for that, you are welcome to, but there's going to be just a lot of reading and talking and me being weird. <laughs> Oh, okay, so he was just teasing her. Not a great thing to do, but... Okay, he, he's not actually a jerk. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious! I freaking love that face! <laughs> okay, hang on. I gotta see what that looks like in uh, console. Oh, that doesn't look nearly as interesting in console mode. Okay, no, we're definitely keeping with the Steam graphics, then. This is... That's so much funnier! 
I can't believe you would say something like that, Keiichi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be weird during this. <laughs> Rena turned bright red, steam rising from her head as her brain short-circuited. She's especially weak to this sort of talk. It's quite rare to find someone this fun to tease. <laughs> if you say Twilight, then I'm leaving without you. For that response, from that response, I gathered that she was interested in them, but was too embarrassed to actually buy one. Scandalous! Yeah, you can't read romance novels till you're married. Duh. And you can only read no romance novels about your husband in particular, and only you can read them or write them. I couldn't imagine what would happen if she did read one. She'd probably turn red and pass out. <laughs> Thanks for the pickles. I would have liked them better if they were cucumbers. <laughs> they weren't that salty. Actually, they had a pretty light flavor to them. It would have been fine to just be honest and say they were good, but apparently I couldn't be that forthright. Are you going to be a jerk again? Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, was it? She blushes over everything. Okay, this girl is so crushing on us. No, quite. Like, she's blushing when we're just like, Hey, did you pickle the... Did you make the pickles? Oh, why would you ask that? <laughs> this is not romantic. Her attitude changed completely as she began to panic frantically. Answer, Rena. Is it you or is it Mrs. Rena? <laughs> wow! <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> that's not that's not how the force works. <laughs> she counted frantically on her fingers, trying to remember the amount of salt she'd used to pickle them. It wasn't like I was trying to tease her, but I couldn't stop myself. So you were trying to tease her. <laughs> that's exactly what it was like. <laughs> Guys who take pleasure in this kind of thing are probably the worst. Guys like me. At least he's introspective. <laughs> Rena nervously opened and closed her mouth over and over, trying to muster a response. Meanwhile, it, it, school is already 30 minutes in, and we're not there yet. Wow, he was. <laughs> Does that mean that if she had said her mom pickled him, he would have been like, they were disgusting! <laughs> I hate them! And she's like, are you insulting my mom? <laughs> I'll kill you, Keiichi. And that's when it turns into a horror game. Her face went bright red again. She was completely spacing out. It was truly a lot of fun to tease her. I pray that Rena never gets taken advantage of by some lowlife. <laughs> like you? <laughs> no. Like Yuji! Keep her away from Yuji! <laughs> Keep at it, Rena. I'll train you until you handle it like the average person. Or so I decided for myself. Ikoze. You don't want to keep me on waiting. Seeing as she just keeps spacing out otherwise, I called Rena back to reality so we can make our way to school. We've literally just been standing in this farm field for the last, like, 15 minutes. This strange, easily flustered girl is Rena Ryuugu. Ryuugu. That's two U's, so it's two different sounds. <laughs> I've only known about her for I've only known her for about a month, but I've come to realize it's not just her name that's strange. She's okay. She, we've only known her for a month, and she's coming out of her way to our house out in the like farmlands in the middle of nowhere to walk us to school. Oh, she is so crushing on us, no question. <laughs> oh yeah, the music. Jane, this is a nice looking place. Coming up to the next rendezvous point, we saw another person waiting for us. Noticing us, she waved. Oh, oh hi. Here, here. Okay, green-haired girl, eh? Interesting. So if I do... Okay, and intriguing. She, okay, she, so she lives in this, like, old old-fashioned hut, I suppose. What does she look like in the console graphics? Interesting. 
There's one thing I definitely notice as a difference between the two versions. And that is clearly... Eh, eh, wait, no, no. Settings? Settings. Remake. <laughs> they definitely amplified the character's chests in the Steam remake. Or maybe it's just because she's turned at an angle. Oh, Keiichi, you're already on the girl's case. In sharp contrast to the diligent Rena, this one marched to the beat of her own drum. She's Mion Sonozaki. For what it's worth, she's our senior and the head of the class. Uh oh. Morning, Rena. Oh. <laughs> That's right. If there's ever a character's name next to it, I don't have to read it. <sighs> okay, this this has got to be a, a... I don't recognize her voice from any of the official novels. <laughs> two days. You spent two days going to the ice cream parlor? <laughs> Mion's gaze started at my chest and then dropped straight down, focusing on the point between my legs. Wow! Is, are we going there already? So she was saying it was my crotch that was cuter back then? Before you ask, just to be clear, I've never actually tried to show it to her. Um, yeah! Good! If you had, then, um, I wouldn't like you. <sighs> Apparently, every single visual novel just has to have this kind of humor in it. Apparently, the voice actor didn't want to record that line. I've grown quite quite splendidly, you'd be surprised. Why? Where did all the sound go? Okay, F10 is the mod hotkeys. Opening movies were disabled? What? I didn't want that. Oh, oh, that's to avoid spoilers. Oh, okay. Never mind, I'm okay with it then. Oh, wait, hang on a second. There are actually multiple different graphics presettings. There's console, manga gamer, original, Rikushi. Okay, hang on. Makes the text that show at the bottom of the screen in a text box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sprites and backgrounds can be overwritten by setting the choose art set and over. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Sprite style. So we're currently in the manga gamer sprite style. Then there's console. Which turns them into this. Oh my gosh. Her smile. Her smile in this art style is kind of amazing. What if we go back to original? Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's completely different! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, yeah, I can def you can definitely tell that this was uh, the original art style. Def <laughs> I know I only have two fingers as well on my giant hands. I mean, it's definitely lower quality than the other graphics, but it, it still looks good. And man, Rena looks really cute in this art style, actually. I, I actually like that. We're not continuing with that, though. I like I like that. Okay, but... Why is it not actually playing the voices? That's what I want to know. Alright, so we're going to save. Yes, we want to save. Can I go back? Yeah, they just disabled... What the heck? They just disabled all of the... Audio. Uh-uh. That's not acceptable. So let's try to reboot the game. Oh, this better not be one of those cases where, like... <laughs> oh, just sometimes the voice cuts out and you have to reset. That would be kind of annoying. Is it gonna be like, um, you were just playing the game. You can't play it, like, immediately again. Come on. Uh, what happened? Bruh!
Okay, play now. See, that worked. And here's hoping the voice acting comes back. Okay. We continue. Boop. Okay, what the heck? What happened to their voices? Why are they not voice acting anymore? Did they, did they just forget to record lines for some of these? P is just instantly change art styles. Oh, dude! Oh, that's, that's really helpful. You can just press the P key and it'll swap art styles for you. That's actually great. Gotta remember that. Being so engorged with energy every morning is quite a problem, though. I'll introduce you next time, so be sure to greet him properly. <sighs> Don't say next time. Right now is just fine. How about letting the little guy get a breath of fresh morning air? Why are we talking about his junk? I don't think I've ever heard, st heard talk so dirty you could smell it following up the morning air before. Mion sure does act like an old man sometimes. <laughs> I like talking about inappropriate stuff. Gotcha. Time for the big reveal. No! Uh, nope. This is not okay. Why? Uh, they could talk about literally anything. Why are they talking about this? As my hand reached for my fly, Rena began to ramble in a near panic. <laughs> Red-faced and flustered, Rena tried to play dumb, but it was obvious she knew exactly what we were talking about. What was and now the voice acting is back. I guess they just forgot to record lines for all of that. Mion switched gears, dropping the dirty talk and changing the topic to something more befitting it, the pleasant morning. Oh, that's right. He had to leave town for the funeral. Putting the fun in funeral. I mean, what? <laughs> hey, Keiichi, I know you're going to your grandma's funeral, but could you really... Could you go to the store and pick me up the latest copy of Breath of the Wild 2? It's not even out yet! Legend of Zelda, the, the original isn't out yet! <laughs> Yeehaw! She's called Mi-chan. Wow. Mio nodded proudly as Rena giggled. If you just wanted me to get you the Stake of the Month Club, well, if you were pay if you pay for it, I could I could make that happen. Westport was short for Western Imported Games. Wow. This is, talk about a reversal. Normally, it's people importing stuff from Japan, but now it's Japan importing stuff from America. Using that abbreviation did make it sound pretty geeky. Mm-hmm. Well, that is what happens when you play Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Rena does not want to keep continued playing Dominion with all of the expansions. Miona is a board and card game enthusiast, and I hear she's collected quite a lot of different ones. Hey! I, you know, I could, I could play Game Night with Mion. That'd be good. But if she talks about my junk, it's not going well. According to Rena, Mion's room has kind of become a museum for domestic and foreign games. <laughs> What kind of games do you play? That will determine if I like them or not. If you guys are like, oh yeah, we like playing Dominion and Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle and Sheriff of Nottingham, I'm like, heck yes, I'm down for that. But if you're like, oh no, we only play uh, Monopoly and Candyland and Pretty Pretty Princess, it's like, okay, well, no, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> What, what group? 
Bristling with joy from head to toe, Rena looked back and forth between me and Mion. Mion gave her an affirmative wink, and her expression perked up even further. I don't know who needs to tell you this, Mion, but uh, you can play board games outside. Sometimes. Rena laughed happily. The problem with Candyland and Monopoly is they're both very luck-based games. If I want to play a game, I want it to be kind of skill-based. Monopoly, you're at the whim of the die, and Candyland, it's literally just draw cards and hope you draw the right ones to get to the end before your opponent. <sighs> From such friendly conversation, you wouldn't think I had moved here less than a month ago. Yeah, how the heck are you getting two girls, one of which is, like, the head of a class, cozying up to you like this? I understood that they did all they could to make a transfer student like me feel at home. I'll have to try harder to fit in, so they won't feel like they have to make me feel welcome. It felt like if I acted a bit more open than I usually am, it would probably be about right for this place. 